as Christians, we don't speak to our ancestors. Those are demons. So let me get this right. Child, okay, so I saw this video going around and I was like, girl, why you do that? Why you do that? One thing I don't understand about Christian people is like, they're the main ones who have a problem with everybody else's religion. That's number one. Number two, whenever somebody is spiritual quote unquote and they choose to create their own set of beliefs i never really see them attacking another religion or attacking another person's belief i mean there's always going to be bad eggs but the main difference that i see with spirituality and esoteric practices versus christianity is that christians always have a bone to pick with somebody and i'm like why so go back and watch the video that i stitched y'all she gonna tell you what's going on with this girl. Yeah, this girl right here, she didn't allow me to stitch her video, so I had to do a screenshot. She talking about Summer Walker's altar and whatnot. And my thing is, girl, like, Christians always out here talking about what they don't do. And I'm like, girl, what do you do? What do y'all do? What does your religion do? How does it help people? Okay, and I know there are people who testify and they give testimonies. I grew up in a Christian church, Baptist, Methodist, whatever you want to call it. All the churches, I've been to them, okay? And if you're someone who just doesn't resonate with the message of Christianity, not that you think anything is wrong with it, it just doesn't help push you to where you need to go, you might want to consider creating your own spiritual practices. I am a spiritual practitioner. I still believe in God. There is a source of power. And what a lot of people are not clicking on, okay, especially people like this lady, is that as a person who practices any religion, more than likely, y'all are all talking about the same person. Sorry to break it to you. Sorry to hurt your feelings. Sorry to crush your dreams. Y'all all talking about the same person. Source. The most high God, whoever you want to call, if you want to call it the universe, then that's the universe because that's what it is. It's a universal power of creation. That is why you exist. And I really think a lot of Christians don't really know where their religion comes from. For example, this book, the darkening age, look it up, read it. It'll tell you everything that you need to know about how Christianity began and the fact that it was a slaughterhouse. It was literally massacre after massacre after massacre, destruction after destruction after destruction, terrorizing innocent people. And that's the energy you feel comfortable manifesting with? Do your own thing. I ain't mad, but not for me.